So Palace Spring 2020 is finally upon us. I believe the first drop is this Friday, February 14th, Valentine's Day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have the full range that we're looking at right here and we will continue to just look at this because you guys like it when I go over every single item and if I edit it any other way, it takes a super long time. So I'm just doing it like this and hopefully you guys enjoy. First off, we have this leather jacket. It kind of has like this snake print on it. No visible palace branding that I'm seeing, but I do not care for that. Leather products in general, I feel like usually miss with like Supreme and Palace. Um, next up, you have this Gore-Tex jacket. Pretty much more Gore-Tex branding than palace branding. You just have a little palace uh, logo right there, or like the text there, and then the triferg on the sleeve, which is all right. And then it's 3M, but being Gore-Tex, those are super expensive. The utilitarian aspect to this jacket is kind of cool, like tons of pockets. And then on the back, a little bit easier to see in the darker colorways, you have this panel that zips off and then a mesh below it with the triferg, which I think is kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of what Nike did with Supreme like two years ago, I want to say. They had like a big swoosh on the back, which was kind of cool. But I want to say one collection or two collections ago, Palace had a very similar jacket, but the vest part or the torso part was actually a detachable vest, which I think is a little bit cooler. We have this Planet Palace jacket I do not care for. You guys know me. I don't like puffers. It's reversible, which is kind of respectable, but I don't like either side of the, uh, the reverse or whatever. Once again, you have another reversible jacket, and I don't like the ribbing on this or whatever, like how it's elastic. I don't care for that, and it's a puffer. Uh, it almost looks like see-through. This really looks just like a trash bag on this side, and then like you reverse it, and it's just a regular puffer, but I don't care for that at all. The volume jacket, a little bit better from what we've been seeing, but I just think this looks a little off. Like It almost looks like it's like a knockoff like uh i don't know whatever uh <laughs> i'm trying to think of what they called the uh the knockoff stuff like from the 90s bootleg like it almost looks like bootleg palace just because it's so simple but yeah i don't know it also kind of ugly that they did palace going down there as well like sure from the front you're not actually gonna be able to see it but i don't know maybe over branded just not branded correctly i'm not sure palistic jacket like ballistic i'm guessing jacket cloud it says but i don't see any like crazy designing here it just looks like an embroidered palace logo on the top maybe and then the small trifurg down there look like nice jackets though um but yeah just it'll be pricey <clears throat> and then they always do this they have like the trucker jacket with the jeans they always do a set for that every collection this time around you have like kind of a cursive font just written all over it and I don't know what it says but that's what it is. The hippie sig jacket, I, I believe we have this on hoodies and t-shirts as well. Kind of a work jacket though. I uh, respect the silhouette but I do not care for the logo. Maybe it'd look better on the back, like the hand big on the back. And then the palace logo right there, the palace text right there, small on the chest, just because, you know, that's kind of what work, uh, work jackets kind of do. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the palace stuff, I thought this one was interesting. It just says stuff on the back, which I don't like, you know. Maybe like palace sports or something like that, you know, give it a little bit more. Uh, we have this palace, like, old English knit cardigan, and I don't care for this. It, I believe it looks like wool or something because it's all like fuzzy, but I don't know. It doesn't look comfortable. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Jumbo Tronic Crew in Navy. I don't like the paneling on this down there. It kind of reminds me of like those army sweaters that do the, uh, the paneling up on the shoulders or the uh, elbows, but yeah, I don't care for that at all. You have the Star Knit. Kind of reminds me of the pal like the palace dallas stuff that they've been doing this is all right i guess um this colorway is probably my favorite but yeah i'm just not crazy about that either the shell out shirt i thought this one was disgusting like there's very little branding and then just all the co also the color blocking is just no oh, that makes me uncomfortable <laughs> and it's gonna be crazy priced all right, so we're getting into some of their button-ups, or, you know, the last one was a button-up as well. This is the Waterfalls one, which is pretty cool. And then, surprisingly, they also have it in kind of like a um, blue hue 
colorway, which is kind of interesting. Personally, I like this one more colorful, more colorful one, just a collage of waterfalls. But I think that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. And people seem to go like crazy for the button ups. Um, so I feel like they'll sell pretty well. And then I feel like this one will as well. The mantra shirt. Basically, you just have somebody like a bunch of children like practicing religious activities it appears and then i'm not sure what's on the right maybe like some incense but it looks like something jeff goldblum would wear like some prada button up i think it's pretty cool but yeah the 180 top this, <laughs> this is ridiculous i do kind of like all the lightning and stuff that they did like i like the bottom design of this shirt but the top is just like ridiculous like i don't mind the back there and then all the lightning i think that's actually kind of cool but dude what is going on like it's just weird oh i actually didn't see the other one i like how they did that like the colorways actually majorly changed the design you know you go from lightning to fire so that's kind of cool but yeah i don't know um it would look cool if you are like bicycling i guess but other than that like i cannot see much uh much reason to wear that you have some reflective pants I'm not really gonna go over too much of this the pants you know they just match up with the jackets i think this one is kind of funny um, it is cool that they zip off into shorts, but like just the locations of the pockets is so weird like on your calf and then your lower thigh very strange But you know you got the the double the shorts and another one you got the cursive pants that match before and Dude the crotch looks like this looks like a solid like two three feet like what? Moving on Doss waterfalls gene same again like dude, they give you so much room for your junk uh, But yeah, I don't know those are kind of whack i'd like to see the other colorway in jeans i don't know why they didn't do that other colorway uh regular jeans regular jeans nothing crazy uh basically a jogger it doesn't really pay to go over the basically uh stuff because it's always the same you know just a slightly different design we have this waximum echo tech fleece hood um it's a decent i kind of like that red stripe on this one that goes down the side i think that's pretty cool kind of looks like they're going for a motorsport look here with these lines over here that you can kind of see but yeah i think this is decent nothing crazy like i wouldn't spend palace money on a piece like this but that white one's all right and decent design i guess the matching joggers you get a little bit better look at the palace design there you get to see the colorways i do like that white and red but white and red joggers would be rough pipeline jacket more like basically a jacket whack um, they do stuff like that in, like every collection. I'm tired of seeing it <laughs> And the stuff that goes with it max P hood. So I get major like dirt bike Motorcycle motocross vibes from this one. I forget the brand that it reminds me of but there's like a three four letter word that has like that thick logo and uh, does like motorcycle sponsoring but I do like the branding or like the font that they used on the sleeves. I think that's cool. I like how it's angled. I like the color blocking. I especially like this colorway. I think this looks cool. But just Max Palace. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about that. But yeah, interesting piece. And I definitely respect that. And then you have the joggers that match it. And they really look like, you know, like some moto pants. So I think that's cool. I'm happy with what they did with that design. Not that I would rock it. Like I wouldn't really rock that. But it's a cool design nonetheless the horsepower crew of course you have a horse in the background this uh more like cursive almost font and then it says unchained melodies i think unchained melodies and then horsepower on the back and especially when you like the front looks fine i guess color blocking is a little strange for me i think but then when you get to the back you have this triferg and then it says horsepower underneath i just feel like those fonts clash too much like this is just ugly to look at jarring but i like the colorways some of the like the color blocking is all red i guess this is kind of cool right here would have been cool to see like a red triferg maybe or like a blue triferg the white just kind of blends too much maybe Let's see then you also have the horsepower shorts that go with that kind of cool pretty quiet like i don't know they could have done more with the shorts i feel to help them match you have this like fishnet pattern palace stuff once again i don't like I don't like the fishnet. I don't like the stuff. Like they should just give it. Give they should have given it something like Palace Sports. Like I was saying, uh, you got this. They do this quite a bit. You got the drop shoulder, the oversized, whatever you want to call it, where it's paneled for the shoulders, and then you got the the lower half paneled as well. But yeah, just Palace London. They've done some bigger spellouts with this, and then this is also 3M. 
nothing crazy there I don't think anyway and then the shorts to match it kind of cool just some nice basic shorts <laughs> it looks so wide from this from this angle but let's see you got the puffer hood which <laughs> I think this is so gross this looks like some bootleg stuff like this is what the only part they did puffer was the hood and then also this font just looks so wonky and like bootleg and out of place uh, for this collection they brought back the Palasonic stuff that's a while back they did the Palasonic skate video I want to say below it says I'd like to live as I please and I don't really care for this I really like the Palasonic like idea I like the play on um, Panasonic I like how they did that but it's just too much going on or it doesn't blend well enough I guess Palasonic you know Panasonic it should be like a technology kind of design or something which I guess they have the phone number and stuff going on there but then they also have the basically logo I just I don't know I, I don't care for that but I do appreciate at least seeing the Palasonic logo it's kind of nice for them to use that the raw raw hood black this is gross yeah that's all I have to say about it. colorway is gross that looks like something you'd buy at Walmart the beef tech kind of interesting also not feeling it major like 90s vibes though coming from a lot of this stuff and really just palace in general that's you know that's how they rock uh this is the inserty because you got all the insert hoods there um not crazy about this i don't know just the outlining maybe or something it looks a little cheap the tri chanel so if you guys don't know what channel chanel channel i don't know i'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's basically that like almost like really rough carpety uh, shag material kind of that's they've done hats like this before but I guess you can really see it in this orange one it kind of stands out like it almost looks like it's Sherpa so if you guys don't know what that material is that's kind of like that rough carpet like I was saying but I think this is cool I'm not exactly sure how comfortable it'll be because since it's that material it's going to be very thick not and like probably not flexible or very flexible it'll be interesting to see if they can make it flexible so it might not be super comfortable but i still think it's cool like this gray or yeah gray colorway with the green i think looks really cool like almost like some grass or something i don't know i feel like that'd be cool for like golfing or something uh some tennis maybe and then also this black and red works pretty well i do really like these colorways but yeah comfortability might be an issue because of the material they chose uh once again you have this design i don't like that so i'm not going to talk about that <laughs> the soap dodger hood not exactly sure what a soap dodger means i guess but it almost looks like a like something you would see on some china wear some dishware things like that but i'm not crazy about that try smiler hood uh yeah whack <laughs> You have this like little king dude he's got his robe and crown i don't know i just not crazy about it and also they didn't change the color of the guy enough i don't think for these colorways i feel like maybe it'd be better if it was a more universal color that worked better with all the colors or i don't know because that just doesn't that <laughs> that doesn't look good even the color of the blank on the uh the orange trifer doesn't look good you have the vexit hoodie which you know you got the palace like arrow or triangle for the arrow and then just an exit there nothing crazy it's all right i'd rather see that in like a t-shirt or something or like if that hoodie was very cheap that'd be cool uh moving on we have the trigrain or trigain like migraine and on the front you have these two palace pills it appears and then on the back you have somebody with a migraine or a headache and one of the things i really like about this design took me a while to see was or maybe it's actually maybe they didn't do it on this one i'm not sure i guess you can kind of see a little bit on here but they use his arm to like spell out part of palace or they just like fade part of palace into it anyway i think this is a really cool design this is something they teased uh, a couple days ago i believe but i really like this one i think it's cool got two little trifergs on the front and then i really like this trifurg design on the back i think i think that works well it's cool decent colorways and i'm a fan maybe i'll go for that basically hoodies can look at those if you want the colorways <laughs> the draw funnel uh these are cool uh or these could be cool i don't really care for the 
logo or the branding that they have on it, I would have much rather preferred like just a simple embroidered like text or script font or something like that. But I do like the silhouette a lot. I like those funnel necks. The quilter cool the quilter crew. I've actually thought of like I always thought it'd be kind of cool to make something like this where it's called the quilter because you can you might be able to see this like red cutout portion or this red um yeah i don't know this red panel is actually like a quilted material where it's stitched you got that like quilt pattern on it which i think is cool um colorways are interesting and then also the font or the yeah the font of the text in the front i'm not crazy about but i think it's a cool uh idea or attempt at least i think uh you know, I can respect that. <laughs> the patch up your life. The first time I saw this, I didn't think much about it, but then you guys have to see this colorway. I think this colorway is really cool. Um, I believe it was like the monkeys or something like that. It was a band back in the day that had like some stuff going on like this. But yeah, I really like this colorway, the maroon patch. Very cool. But yeah, cool piece. Cool piece. Uh, I could see what, how I could see that being like a lot of people's favorites. This is whack. I don't like stripes when they do stripes like that. The Bunning Man, this is becoming pretty much the basically us stuff with the Bunning Man. They do it so much. Uh, waffle, whatever, thermal, kind of whack. Uh, I don't like I don't like that logo that they're using. I think that might be the basically uh one. Then we saw this before on the button up. I, th I think the button up works a lot better. I really don't like how they mirror it right here and they kind of like mirror it here also. I think it would have been better if they maybe just did one, but then again, I'm not a fan of like these all over crazy prints on long sleeves. Sure, I'll take a button up, but that is too much. Uh, they've used this stuff before. I think it's like some African uh, cultural stuff, but I'm not sure. Do, do not quote me on that. Um, not crazy about these designs though. Moving on. You have the pal ache long sleeve and this is kind of the uh long sleeve version of the migraine one that we looked at but interestingly enough they don't have anything on the back they just have this uh like palace and it says relief below it you have the two little palace pills and then a big arrow like pointing back at the ache but yeah i'm not exactly sure what the sleeves say probably like the steps to success or something <laughs> uh let's see the nine loner nine means no in german and uh i think the front design is kind of cool on this it's a ufo that is the like palace triangle but then on the back like i don't think this is i don't know kind of whack a little, little too basic for me i think moving on the so far long sleeve very similar to the basically us stuff but instead of the palace basically spell out this is whack by the way i hate when they do ribbing like that or um detailing like that i don't like that <laughs> But yeah, uh, the Max shirt. I think this works a little bit better than the Max with just Palace on uh, below it. But I will say with this, if Max says Palace under it right there still, and then it just says Palace there, I, I really don't like that. It's a little overkill. But I like these colorways. They're cool. It's interesting. It's also interesting that we didn't see a sweatshirt that matched this colorway, only the black and red and then the black and white pocket t-shirt not a fan of the stripes i like solid like thick stripes it's hard for me to like any of the like thin stripes we have this bunning man if you're a big fan of the bunning man logo there you go you got big on the shirt catch das fade shirt looking like a shasta cup oliver tree out here uh kind of interesting you know fits the vibe of palace with this gradient and like 90s vibe 80s vibe i'm not sure exactly inside watch this is what is going on i don't care for that strange pattern on that we have the gi this is a volkswagen uh i believe or the the gt uh volkswagen rabbit i believe or the like golf you know and it's got the palace p on the hood um kind of cool design i believe we've seen them do a uh a gt before or gti i thought it was but yeah uh, i believe we've seen them use that same car before uh and then uh moving on with the car theme you have the gassed t-shirt got like some exhaust there spilling uh fumes out not crazy about this design just kind of wacky 
the Happy Sig t-shirt. Once again, we saw this earlier on a jacket, I want to say. Not a fan of it. The Pigeonhole t-shirt. They did this, but like a, I think it was like Purtle or Pea Turtle before. They've kind of done like some animals in the past. Follows the line there. Kind of cool. The Trigrain shirt. Once again, I like this. I think I like it more as a t-shirt than a hoodie. But yeah, um, probably one of my favorite pieces. The Evil Eye t-shirt. Not exactly sure what's going on on this. Kind of looks like a tag or like an air freshener almost. But yeah, interesting. Not too bad of a design. Not crazy about it. But yeah. Moving on, you have a cool design. I wish they would have done a like a hoodie in this or something. I'm not sure why they didn't. But you have this index finger pointing up and then a little smiley face on it. And then on the back you have a the same thing but then a peace sign instead of the smiley face. And I think they kind of missed out on the colorways for this. Like, I don't know, those ones are fine. This, whack, this, whack, this, whack, this, whack. Why'd they do all blue on this? Why not make, you know, like the hand yellow or something? Like, that just blends way too much. Black is good and gray is good, but I feel like they definitely missed out on the colorways for those basically a t-shirt i'm not even clicking it leather bucket <sighs> why dude who would buy that das mind bucket hat uh i'm not i don't know i'm not feeling the brown different colorway would look better shock shell bucket got kind of that mesh that goes well uh, that goes with the mesh jackets we saw before this is kind of funny pop off cappy got just like some button on uh ear flap there keep you warm keep you safe keep a secret the tea leaf Kind of looks like a running hat, hiking hat. Yeah, of course. And you got the, uh, not sure what that uh, tightening method is called. But yeah, another like running dry fit cap. Elastic band in the back. Yeah, what is this? Hesh butt safe trucker. The hesh butt safe trucker. All right. Um, I do like they have maximum palace on the brim. That's kind of cool. And of course, this fits with like the racing stuff we buff we saw before interesting take on a trucker as well that just like the side panel is mesh and then like the back is not um i can respect the hat though and the creativity that went into it uh sorry for the sirens outside as well just uh bear with me i am safe take my word for it uh i'm not hiding any bodies uh unless you know how to dispose of a body i could use some help um the checkup six panel uh fishnet nah i'm a pass I'm not a fisherman, though I have fished in the past. The multi-pack, they got a lot going on in this. Uh, not crazy about it. That blue colorway is all right, I guess, because it blends a little bit more. I'd say even the blue blends a little bit more than the black, but yeah. Uh, das Chain, this is whack. Uh, not digging how they stacked the logo right there. Kind of like an old English one. Peak 6 panel, this is just like a basically a hat. Not digging it. Denim 6 panel. Uh, I don't know how how I feel about dental. Uh, I don't know how I feel about denim caps. I do like that they have the contrasting denim colors for this one at least. I think that is better than uh, just the like. Oh, I guess it was contrasting before. Um, all right, yeah. I don't know. I don't really care for them. Denim caps are weird, but I do really like these ones. I like this colorway, this light brown. I think that's cool not crazy about that baby blue and i love this burgundy i think this is like the classic p hat so cool um i love i love those p hats uh the p stuff beanie not sure why they're dropping so many beanies in the spring i guess you know still pretty cold out for like another month or two but damn another beanie not crazy about any of these beanies so far i really don't like that design just palace over and over i don't care for that i feel like they do a bunch of these like so far beanies or whatever this one's called a cool bee but i'm yeah, not feeling that chunk rib just basically a beanie got some basically a sock i don't even know why i clicked that <laughs> dimension flip stash these are kind of cool wallets or i kind of like the silhouette of this like as a wallet or a bag but i don't like how they have that like cross hashing the like fishnet stuff i get that away it's kind of a cool uh what is this what are they calling this just a bag <laughs> all right um kind of a cool but uh kind of a cool bag looks like almost a little bit designer where they have the gold and then the tiny like palace gold branding i do like that strap looks a little nice too 
That's cool. Um, for the jewelry this season or this collection, you have a pendant and it looks like it says pal right here and then goes down ace where they use the A for pal and ace. Uh, expected to be pretty expensive, probably like three, four hundred bucks. And then their big accessory, I think they have two accessories, but their big one is the pal's dartboard. And I think this is all right, but what I do like about it is you have like these big pint glasses and then also shot glasses, I believe, or is that just like a little like whiskey glass? But yeah, I, I like how they have that. So it's like more drinking and yeah, it says like, you know, palace, pint, London shots. Oh, so they are shots, but yeah, I, I do like that aspect of it, but I'm not too crazy about them doing a dartboard. And I also think it's stupid that they have the dartboard and then separate they have the darts because like that means you can go for the dartboard and not get darts. I don't know. But I do understand like if you're into palace, you know, I'd much rather buy just the darts instead of how expensive the board is going to be. Um, but yeah, and then you have this Triferg ceramic ashtray, white and gold colorway, which I think looks beautiful, like very, very classy, and I love it, love the design, that's very nice, but <laughs> the description's also funny, they got that flu type shit that make your neck, uh, that, they got that flu type shit that make you break your neck, Wuhan, I got you all in check, so, must have been written relatively recently i think this is cool the stash can and they've they've been using these beer designs for like the last year and i really like them i'm not i'm not crazy about like some of the pieces they've put them on but i think it's really cool uh the designs they came up with you know like here's the like mexican beer like palace cerveza you know like some modelo or something like that and you got like the german beer the lager um and then just kind of like the u.s <clears throat> like some bud light or something so i think those are cool but they're stash cans you know hide whatever in there palace dog toy only coming in one colorway kind of interesting a uh, little purple bone one and i think they did this bone try for last season palace max palace badge the pigeonhole pin yeah it's just a pin you got some more pins domino pin key ring these bags they've done the bags before a, one like lone sticker which makes me think it must be like one of those like gel ones or something that they'd put it by itself sticker pack you know got all the other stickers i don't know if people actually like buy those but yeah here you go you got the boards usually the boards are pretty decent and they have a ton of boards all the time so uh definitely a lot to pick from i think they're all right i really like i like this Th it works much better like this but like as a bicycle top that like polo i do not care for it at all like these are kind of cool that like chrome one was pretty cool anyway um cool decks though nothing bad that wraps it up for the decks but yeah overall i'm pleased with this season i think there's some cool flips on the trifergs i think those are really cool definitely not feeling any of the jackets these button-ups are decent they've had worse for sure um but yeah favorite piece uh probably the migraine stuff i would have to say i also really like the um that smile one this one right here and the tri smiler but just those two colorways and then I also did really like the channel Chanel, Chanel, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, that's about it. I'm sure this video is already super long, so I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the collection. What are your favorite pieces? And that's about it. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.